Welcome back. It's one of the most iconic Las Vegas shows. The Blue Man Group has been running on the strip since the year 2000. And here to talk about his experience as a drummer for the Blue Man Group is Vince Verderame, who has been here the whole time <laughs> yes, with the show. Thank you so much for joining us, Vince. Thanks for having me. Okay, so you helped open the show on the strip, and it has been going strong ever since then. Yes. What was that experience like opening this up in the year 2000? In Please the year paint 2000, the picture. <laughs> yeah, um, it was fantastic. It was frightening. Um, I don't think Vegas at that time. It was we were we were cutting edge here. Yeah, it was crazy to think there was there was really a risk that like this kind of show would not fly in Vegas. Wow. And. Um, you know, we were kind of coming on the heels of like the success of the Cirque shows, but this, but it's still very different parameters, and uh, and it was fantastic. I wow. mean, it was fantastic. Okay, now 24 years later, the show yeah. went from a risk to something that is a mainstay yes. on the strip. So, what's that been like to see the city just embrace and have your show kind of become synonymous with strip shows? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been cool and weird. Um, one of the things we all try to play against is to try to not take that for granted. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite parts about drumming in the show is like everybody shows up. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, because like anything, right? You can it can become rote, and this show's never rote. It's like every the show is written that way, and we all approach it that way because we care. We, I love we really that. care. I love that. Now we want to uh, kind of set the record straight. You came in here, and I'm like, wow. Uh, we're going to get to talk to somebody from the Blue Man Group. You know, they don't talk. And then I asked you, do you have to shave your head before every show? And you told me, H hang on yeah, a hang second. On, hang on, yeah. You're a drummer for the Blue Man Group. Yeah, so, so you're I, in the band. So I'm in the band. In the band, we kind of, we kind of oversee what the Blue Men do on wow. stage. Okay, and then you told me something that maybe not a lot of people know about the Blue Man Group. Well, that there's a height requirement. Yes. For, to be an actual Blue Man, you, the sweet spot is between 5'10 and 6'1, but there's, there's, some, there's some gray area with that depending on you wow. know, talent. And that is so cool. I mean, I wouldn't qualify for a variety of reasons, but <laughs> I'm no, not I, in the I range. Know, no, there, you, there have been women blue men. Really? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so, that's so cool. So, yeah. so tell me, um, 24 years yeah. of performing the show, do you still have moments of awe? Yes. And what are those? When um, does that happen? Well, it, it, I don't know, but when it when a live show happens, there's like a it's it's like a conjuring, and it it's it depends on the audience, it depends on the band. I mean, it could literally depend on the weather. You never know when you get into a space what's going to create those moments that just pop, that transcend, that people go, oh, I'm experiencing something oh, cool. that you that you just can't predict, and it's different moments every night. Do you have um, audiences? That stand like what is like your perfect audience member? No such thing. Really? Well, that's the, the weirdest part. I think we will do shows, and Vegas is a little more rambunctious, mm -hmm. right? It's Vegas, but we have shows in other cities. Like we're opening a new show in Orlando, cool. uh, spring 2025, right? Um, and that'll be a different group of people. So they'll show up, and sometimes they'll be tired, right? You get like a Friday early show, mm -hmm, five o'clock, mm -hmm. and like you tell people just got there, and you're like, oh, do they hate it? And then by the end of the show, they're like, no, this is, the, and you see them stand up and they're like, no, it's great, but they're just not responding always the same. Sure. And that's the thing. That's why we never have to take for granted what that response is because it creates a different sort of synergy between the audience and the performance. And you can never assume that you know what their reaction is yeah. and what it means. Does that make oh sense? God. It does. Um, it's been so cool to talk to you. We didn't even get to talk about your drumming, uh, well, which, you know, you're going to have to come back. This was just so cool to talk to somebody who helped open the show yeah. on the strip. Uh, and, and you are going to stick around for us because we're going to spin for charity. Outstanding. Uh, thank you so much for joining thank us. You we for really appreciate me. it. Uh, tell us where we can get tickets to see Blue Man Group uh, and where. BlueManGroup.com, and uh, we'll be adding extra shows in the holidays. And it's, uh, it's, it's just a privilege to be here and still be doing shows all these years. So exciting. Okay, we've got the information up on your screen right now. You've got to go see Blue Man Group. Danny, we'll send it over to you.